this video we're going to take a look at factoring perfect square trinomials. This is based on using um, some of the formulas that you learned when you were multiplying polynomials out. Uh, you learned that a plus b quantity squared could be multiplied out to be a squared plus 2 a times a times b plus b squared. Okay, same thing with when it was a minus, it was a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. All right, so we're just going to take these and work them backwards. Now, each one of these, technically, this is a trinomial, and if you don't recognize that it is a perfect square trinomial, you could factor it with guess and check. You could factor it with slide and divide. There's a variety of other methods that you could use, and you're still going to get the same answer. It's just if you can recognize that it is a perfect square trinomial, then it could be a little bit faster for you. All right, so um, utilizing this formula here, what I have to do if I want to check to see if this is a perfect square trinomial, I need to take my first term and I need to see if I can take the square root of it. Well, square root of x squared is x. So yes, I can take the square root of that. Then I have to check the last term, square root of 49. Can I take the square root of 49? Yep, I'm going to get a 7. All right, and then I have to check that middle term all right, is my, here, let's just do MT for middle term here. Can I take the X times the 7 and then multiply it by 2 every time because that's what's in my formula. So 2 times the 7 times the X and will I get a 14X in the middle? And I do. So that this is a perfect square trinomial. Now eventually you would get to the place where this you would not write out. It would just come naturally. You could just check those things and do it in your head. All right. If you realize that, then these two square roots, the x and the 7, is going to give you your answer for your a and your b here. And whatever sign is at the beginning here will be the sign in your answer. So since this is a plus, I will have a plus in here. So my answer is going to be x plus 7 quantity squared. Okay, recognizing that that is the sign where the plus comes from. Now, like I said, if you had not have recognized that this was a perfect square trinomial, you would have guessed and checked this, and you probably would have put an x here and an x here, and then you would have come to the conclusion that I need a 7 here and a 7 here with two pluses. All right, this is the exact same thing as this. All right, most teachers would prefer the answer written as x plus 7 quantity squared. Okay, let's take a look at um, a couple more examples that are a little bit more challenging. Okay, so again, I'm going to check each one of them to see if it is a perfect square trinomial. I am going to show the work, and eventually if you get good at this, you would not show the work. You would do this in your head. All right, but I'm going to check to see if this first term is a perfect square root, and it is. It's going to be a 2x. Then I'm going to check that last term right there. Is it a perfect square root? Well, it is because it's a 3y. And then for my middle term check, all right, can I take each of these and multiply them by 2 and get that middle term? So there's the 2, and then the 2x, and then the 3y. All right, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is going to give me a 12xy. So it checks, I get that middle term. So then I know I'm going to take these two square roots. All right, with a plus sign, and that's where my answer is going to come from. So I'll have a 2x plus a 3y quantity squared as a final answer there. Okay, keeping in mind that that plus is what, that first sign is what determines what goes on the inside there. All right, now on this one, let's see if we can do a little bit uh, more of this in our head here. Is this a perfect square trinomial? It is. If I take the square root of it, Let's do it like this. If I take the square root there, I would have a 3y squared. If I take the square root here, I would have a 2. All right, if I multiplied both of those by 2, that's going to give me a 12, and a y squared, the middle term checks. Okay, so it'll be a 3y squared, it'll be a 2, and then this time it's a minus right there, so I'll have a minus sign in the middle, and quantity squared. Okay, so um, like I said, each one of these would factor with a guess and check or a slide and divide. However, this um, perfect square trinomial thing, if you can recognize that it is a perfect square trinomial, it just kind of factors rather quickly. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks.